Sophie and welcome to my channel. So today I will be teaching you on how are you going to pronounce the American T. So in pronouncing the American T, T pronunciation in the Philippine English is different. But when you are going to pronounce American T is different also. So we need to follow the rule. If you are ready, so please keep watching until the end of this video. So rule number one, guys, T is at the beginning of a word or in a stressed syllable. So it means to say when you are pronouncing T, when T is at the beginning, so that the word T, this is T, 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 when T is at the beginning of a word, or in a stressed syllable, we have to pronounce T as T. So like for example, Ted took 10 tomatoes. Stop touching Ted's toes. So the T here, so T, 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 T. And then for number three, it's Tommy's turn to tell the teacher the truth. So have you noticed guys that T, 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 and T. So when the word is at the beginning of a syllable or in a stressed syllable, then you have to pronounce T as T, okay? So for rule number two, guys, T is, the, is D in the middle word. So when T is at the middle of the word, you have to pronounce T as D. But see to it that when you are pronouncing T, very soft, make it fast. So like for example, because T here is in the middle of B, E, and Y, so instead of Betty, you have to pronounce that as Betty. Betty. Betty bought a bit of bitter butter. So pronounce bought as bought because the T here is at uh, the end of the word. The bit is at the end of the word, but the bitter, so the T is at the middle of B, I, and E, R, and then the another B here is at the middle of B, U, and E, R, so instead of saying butter, instead of saying bitter, so you have to pronounce that as bitter, butter. Okay, so T mo parang nagiging T, but make it fast, okay? So, I'm going to read it, Betty bought a bit of bitter butter. For number two, guys, it's getting hotter. The T is at the middle of G-E-I-N-G, and then the T here is at the middle of uh, H-O-N-E-R, so you have to pronounce that as getting hotter. So, parang ang T mo, nagiging D, pero binibilisan mo. We have to read example number two. It's getting hotter. Okay? For number three, the T is the middle of P-A-N-Y, and then the T is at the last word. So instead of saying patty, you have to say patty, patty, patty. And then ought to write a better letter. So ang T mo dito at ang T. So I have to read again. Patty ought to write a better letter. For rule number three, guys, T is silent after N with lax vowels. How are you going to pronounce T if T is silent after N? So, like for example, instead of saying interview, you have to pronounce at interview. Parang silent T siya. Okay? Interview. Number two. Instead of saying interface, you have to pronounce that as interface, interface. And then for number three, instead of saying interrupt, you have to pronounce that as interrupt. Number four, instead of saying printer, so you have to pronounce that as printer. And 20, 20. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, 
28-29. I'm going to read it. T is silent after N with last vowels. Again, interview, interface, interrupt, printer, 20. Okay, guys. Gusto niyo po ba na magiging social kayo? So, please keep watching or you can replay my video. I hope that you learned something today and have a great day everyone guys. I love you all.